This video is about a place that I found very emotional. A couple of old Nissan huts from the Second World War on a remote island off the north coast of Scotland, which had been turned into a chapel by Italian prisoners of war. And this is also the story of those prisoners of war, many of whom had fought bravely in North Africa at El Alamein, for non-Italians used to stereotypes. It may even come as a surprise to find out that the Italians fought bravely with credit in North Africa, but more of that shortly. So let's start with the chapel. It's on an uninhabited island in the Orkneys. The first things I noticed were the narrow causeways linking the islands and the sunken ships, giving the impression that the war had literally just finished. It turns out that those causeways were built by many of those prisoners of war to help protect the naval base in the Orkneys from German submarines. In 1939, a submarine commanded by Gunter Prien entered the Orkneys, sinking HMS Royal Oak with the loss of over 800 lives. In 1940, he would sink the Avondora Star, carrying interned Italians who'd been living in Britain into exile with the loss of another 800 lives. I've done a video on that too. The link is below in the description. It was very easy to imagine the around 1,000 Italian prisoners of Camp 60, a long way from home on the cold, bleak islands, looking for comfort, memories of home and a place to share their faith. Among them was a priest, Father Giacobazzi, and an artist, Domenico Chiochetti, and fortunately, tradesmen, including a blacksmith and cement worker. The British also supported their efforts in connecting the two huts into what's been described as the chapel at the end of the world, built using whatever materials they could get their hands on. The font is made from an old car exhaust covered in concrete, and the light holders are made out of old corn beef tins. The tabernacle was made of timber salvaged from a wrecked ship. After the release of the prisoners, Chiochetti remained behind to finish off the job and he returned to Orkney only twice and died in Italy in 1999. So where did these prisoners of war come from? Most were captured in the battles of North Africa between the British, mainly, and the Germans and Italians led by Field Marshal Rommel. The Italian contribution is often overlooked by the English-speaking world, but the Italian troops fought bravely, delaying the German withdrawal. The Folgere division in particular is a source of pride Hugely outnumbered, they held out for several days, with only around 300 out of 5,000 surviving the battle. Historian John Latimer recently described the effect of wartime propaganda as meaning that the bravery and skill of Italian soldiers has often been overlooked. And Rommel himself wrote that the German soldier had amazed the world, and the Italian soldier had amazed the German soldier. Although many of them were left behind in North Africa, some made it to the north of Scotland, where they helped build the chapel at the end of the world, showing two very different aspects of the Italian character. I hope you found this video interesting and perhaps one day we'll see the chapel for yourselves. I'll be doing more videos like this, so please feel free to subscribe. In the meantime, in bocca al lupo, and I'll see you all soon.